They've bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. That leads to the soup, Mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. You going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me, unless you want this spray can up your- No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend? Oh, lighten up. Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think, but after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest! That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss-in. 
Let's not and say we did. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. What? Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Look out, son! Mom? Remember to keep your name badge on at all times. Not only does it make every citizen seem like your neighbor and friend, it grants you passage at the three main city access points. Hill Valley is the country's first fully incorporated gated city. In 1966, Hill Valley petitioned for a special regional exemption from state legislation. Using a tax and property law loophole, the city of Hill Valley managed to consolidate itself into a gated community with special allowances for business and residential zoning. To date, we are the safest and most self-sustaining city in the United States. Bureau of Discipline. That just makes me think about high school. Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, I can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a deer and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Attention, 
Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. A peeping Tom. Ah, Dad. Try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Good day, citizen. Oh, it's recording. I don't want to mess up Dad's work. It's recording. Another day in Hill Valley. The perfect place to live. That wasn't a note of irony in your book. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little Helly and she's nothing but trouble? Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further Oh. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Hey, I hear you got hit with some more demerit, Nathan. Good on you, I say. Sure. Never trust the guy with less than a thousand demerits, am I right? Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's... problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. 
These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals and, of course, to use the facilities. You're supposed to be, I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction. I did mess around with it once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Science fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive nonsense, of course. Okay, different subject. Yeah? It's about Mom. How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's gotta be a good thing. Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now there's a fine suggestion! What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Hmm. Something on your mind? It's about me. I'm all ears. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. Uh, you recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that, that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. Do you, uh, is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that math and magic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Well, uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to- Stop! I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. Okay, different subject. Yeah? What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son, but while you were away at your math and magic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see, so if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown. 
is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy. Well, you get the idea. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. It's about someone we both know, yes? Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scofflaw should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? Are we talking about the same- but Really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Hmm. Something on your mind? Hill Valley has a lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits, depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Haha! <laughs> Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Which one was it? Oh, yes! Does that look like a stray dog to you? Whatever it is, Edna's Animal Patrol will make short work of it. Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. Why, I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. Hmm. Something on your mind? So, uh, when is this dust my problem gonna be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kinda backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Uh, where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're gonna camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay, this timeline is officially a nightmare.
Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Good morning, Mrs. Brown. Please address me as Mrs. Citizen Brown. I'm sorry, Mrs. Citizen Brown. Attention, benefits! This domicile is in violation of civic ordinance DZ-36 and has been placed in protective quarantine until corrective measures can be taken. Please back away from the house and have a nice day. What the hell? Don't violate the perimeter, son! Hey, I hear you got hit with some more demerits, Nathan. Good on ya, I see. Sure. Never trust a guy with less than a thousand demerits, am I right? What's the problem, citizen? Uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're, uh, we're fine. We're all fine now. Thank you. Uh, how are you? Locked. She missed a spot. That leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. It's just another brick in the wall. I can do this all day, kid. So can I. Mom? Uh, Mom, are you, uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom, it's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad! Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine. No. Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You 
know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't suffocating me all the time. Was that an admission? An admission of how smothered I am by you? Mom? I'm having a bad day, Mom. Can I ask you a few things? We all have our share, son. I, uh, lost my timesheet. What have I got going on this week? Well, Monday is Junior Brown Brigade. Junior what now? And Tuesday is Model UN. Model UN? Mm-hmm. You represent Djibouti. On Wednesday, you'll be overseeing the board game club at the Rex Okay, Center. okay, I've heard enough. I saw Jennifer earlier today. Oh, Jennifer. What a spunky gal. Are you two patching things up? She totally blew me off. Well, I'm not the world's biggest dating expert, seeing as how I married the first guy to fall from the sky. But maybe you should spend a little less time with your microscopes and ant farms, and a little more time tending to her needs. What kind of things is she passionate about, Martin? What are her interests? I don't even know anymore. You see? Everyone is treating me like some sort of goody-two-shoes, Mom. They're just jealous that you're such a perfect citizen of Hill Valley. Have I always been this way? Always been a perfect little son? Going on 18 years now. What about that time I set fire to the living room? Oh, but you only did that so you could show us the fire retardant you made with your chemistry set. Heavy. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. So, what's up with Dad? Ugh, indeed. What is up with him? That setup in his garage is pretty intense. That's not the word I'd use. More like creepy. I heard that! Is it just me or does Hill Valley feel really strict today? Some might even call it stifling. But you didn't hear that from me. Is it true that Biff was responsible for getting dogs outlawed? I think that was all Edna's idea. She's always had a sore spot for dogs. Now your father and I, we love dogs. You do? I didn't know that. How come we never had a dog? We had meant to get one to teach you children about responsibility, but by the time we had you, dogs had already been banned. Now I don't think we'll ever have the chance to raise a puppy. Jeez, Mom, that could be the saddest thing I've ever heard. Biff was talking about all the contraband he used to keep. Do you know anything about that? What are you implying, Martin? I'm not implying anything. I just want to know what kind of contraband might still be around. Y you know, so I can watch out for it. I like a good citizen. Well, I would know about such things. But people still smuggle alcohol in from the next county. I heard the kids at school have been smuggling Xerox copies of Dungeons and Dragons. I bet you'd be into something like that, huh? I'll get back to you on that. Biff told me that he got in trouble for public displays of affection. Can you believe it? Sure, things got a little out of control back in the 60s with the free love and all, but now even holding hands will get you a verbal warning. Wait, so you can't even kiss? Can't even hug. It's barbaric. City Hall treats us like a bunch of children going to the movies. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. I feel like I don't know anybody anymore. Well, Martin, that could be a sign you need to get out more. Is there any way I could talk to Citizen Brown? Oh, you know how difficult that is, Martin. The great man spends so much time coming up with new rules and demerits that he barely has time to talk to us anymore. I guess that's the price we pay for a safe, happy city. So he doesn't see anyone? Not unless someone starts rolling up the demerits. He still takes a personal interest in those situations. Hmm. And of course you could talk to Mrs. Brown. Clara? No, silly. Edna. Edna Strickland? Mm-hmm.
Jen's dad doesn't seem to like me very much. He's just a little stressed out, dear. Filling the crime-stomping shoes of his legendary father makes poor Danny Jr. a little twitchy. So I see. But he gets the job done. Between him and his father, Hill Valley's been as dry as the Sahara Desert for decades now. Unfortunately. Dry? Doc was right. We did overdo it. What do you think of Jennifer, Mom? Well, she certainly looked like quite a handful, dear. I was really hoping some of her, uh, joie de vie would have rubbed off on you. What do you mean by that? Well, Martin, you can be a little uptight sometimes. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it, Mom. Well, maybe you needed to hear it. There's nothing wrong with having priorities in life. Just maybe Jennifer should have been a little higher on your list. Yeah, she should. Well, you did buy that guitar. That's a step in the right direction. Women love musicians. Just keep practicing and I'm sure you'll get better. What are you talking about? I'm a great musician. That's the spirit. Biff seems, uh, unusually mellow. Well, he should be. He just finished the Citizen Plus program. So far, it looks like it's done him a world of good. You don't think he seems a bit off? I mean, he's so un -biff. Well, isn't that the point? You remember what he used to be like? He was an unholy terror. He wasn't that bad. Now, sure. But you should have seen him in high school. I, uh, I, I can imagine. Wait, wait, Doc, uh, Citizen Brown is married to Edna Strickland? Did you get a bump on the head or something? They've been happily married for nearly 40 years. In fact, if you ask me, I think Edna wears the pants in the relationship. She's the one always announcing the day-to-day -day bulletins. Probably writes them herself. I need to sit down. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Mom, look, I'm on your side. If you've got a problem, I want to help. But this is a choice you've got to make yourself. Oh, look at you. You're such a sweet boy. I'm so glad you take after me rather than your father. What, Lorraine? What? Ugh! I can't live like this! Dad, you're not helping. Oh, but I disagree, Martin. It's important that I catch her in the act so I can get it on tape. Once it's on tape, I can show her that she has a problem. That's ridiculous, Dad. You're acting like this is some kind of sting operation. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! There! What did you just hide? That was some sort of fruity liqueur! It's a spray bottle of simple orange for the cleaning I'm trying to do! Lorraine, I'm sorry. It's just that you're acting so cagey lately. Cagey? Maybe I'm acting like I don't want to be spied on all the time. It's not all the time, Lorraine. I do sleep occasionally, you know. Attention. 